Hi, I'm Monica Bay at the University of Florida, and we are here with George Sosha, and we're in the middle of an incredibly great program that's a third annual, I think, this Our year? third annual, that's Tell right. Tell us about it. The, this conference is, I think, very different from most other e-discovery conferences in two very critical ways. Okay. One is the focus. For the first year, the second year, and this third year, we've tried to focus very much on the practicalities of e-discovery for the everyday lawyer, who could be in a small firm or a large. Yes. It's not about the theory of e-discovery. It's not about the case law of e-discovery. It's about what can you do, how can you do it, what are some tools you can use, and what does it look like when you use those tools. So that's one way this conference is very different. The other way we think it's very different is that this is a conference, unlike most, where we have a healthy audience here in person. We've got about 100 people in the hall, mm -hmm. but we have another 300 people or so attending online live. So people in the hall here can ask questions, and we encourage questions early and often, you know, kind of like I hear Chicago voting may have been like at one time. <laughs> But we, we encourage the questions early and often from the audience here, and I'm running around with a microphone trying you to field those questions. We also encourage questions early and audience from our on, often from our online audience. And we're halfway through, and we've yeah. had quite a lot of people who have been calling from the, or, or pinging us from. For and, the, and by the way, we've got a very brave third year law student here yes, who's, fielding who's fielding those questions. Those. There is no way I could have done that no as way. a third year law so student. So let me cut to the chase here. One of the goals that the conference has, as I understand it, is to help not just the professionals who might need help, but to give the students, the folks who are still in law school, a, a better sense of how e-discovery is maturing and how it's really becoming um, something that lawyers themselves need to at least have an understanding for. Talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, it's very easy at a conference like this or many of the other conferences to come away with the impression that e-discovery is an end unto itself and that the career path in e-discovery is as an e-discovery specialist. And there is a career path like that, but e-discovery is not an end to itself. It's a step along the way in the discovery process. We put the E on front, people paralyze. Yeah. But all of discovery is still there, and e-discovery is something that every lawyer in every litigation matter ought to be having available as part of the arsenal of tools, if you will. And to actually, metaphors. the American Bar Association has now added comment to its model rules saying that you better understand it or have someone on your team who's going to understand it. You know, Good so luck. True, but it's, it's a push in the right, right. way. And the, the ABA is relatively conservative on these things. So for them to recognize this, I think is important. Sometimes you have to put the goal up right. there. Right. Um, it's an aspirational goal. It's an aspirational goal. goal. The danger becomes when they try to move it from an aspirational goal, all it ought to be right now, to a mandatory requirement, yep. the way there's discussion about and, doing and it And that's California. a topic for an entirely right. different but, interview. But. but for folks who are students now in law school, yes, some of them, no doubt, will go on to become e-discovery professionals. Yes. That will be the focus and the locus of what they do in their professional capacity. But many others are going to go out and be practicing lawyers of a variety of stripes. Yes. And if you are a litigator, there are all sorts of things you need to do as a litigator. Part of it's discovery. There are all sorts of things you need to be able to do in discovery. You need to be able to take and defend depositions. Sure. And I'm going to cut you off because we're requests, running out of time. But you got to do e-discovery <laughs> right. too. And, that's and the one the, last the, thing the that, that I want to get across is that if you do what you just said mm -hmm. in a difficult job market, which is right now, guess what? If you understand e-discovery at all, you're going to the front of the line. So take those courses, get involved, and, it, and, and it's going to help you in your career. You get the last word and then we're off. Oh, no last word. I couldn't do better than that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Monica. You. I'm Monica Bay with George Sosha. Thanks for listening.